Hey guys, what's up? It's Tate and Clint from the new hard rock band Strike Lightning. Uh, we thought it'd be kind of fun to do a little behind the scenes video for you all and kind of give you guys an insight of what it's like recording a song and the different guitars and amps and effects we use on our latest single. Yeah, for those of you that don't know, we just put out a, a cover of Ozzy Osbourne's Shot in the Dark. Um, you can get that on all major streaming platforms and iTunes, so go check it out. And uh, anyways, we're going to get started with uh, all the gear. So let's start off with Tate stuff first. So here we go. All right, guys. So for Shot in the Dark, I used uh, 2004 Gibson Les Paul Custom. Uh, this has been a main guitar of mine ever since I've had it. Uh, it's been used on many recordings and a ton of live shows. Um, has your stock Gibson pickups straight from the custom shop. I don't know any specific or details about them, just whatever they were using in 04. Uh, now as far as amps go, I use a Blackstar Series 1 200 watt head on the crunch channel. Um, and then I was boosting the crunch channel with a Blackstar HT drive pedal down here on the floor, just for volume and a little bit of tone shaping. Uh, went straight into a TC Electronic Polytune as well, and then for leads, went to OD2 and boosted that with the Maxon OD808. Classic, 80s style, rock and roll, can't go wrong with it. Sweet. And as far as cabs, we'll, uh, we'll show the cabs uh, after we show yeah. my guitar and my amp, because yeah. the, the uh, cabs are... I sewed in the other bedrooms down the hallway, so and we'll show you guys that in a minute. Do need to show them this guy right here. So all guitars, oh, yeah. all guitars were going through a 1073 BAE Neve preamp. Um, I want to take over. And... Uh, I mean these these preamps are awesome. They have that classic 70s, 80s uh, Neve sound, so they sound like all of the you know most classic records. From uh, from those eras, um, it just sounds awesome for anything: vocals, guitar, uh, bass, uh, drums, whatever it is that you're recording. These these things sound awesome. And then this preamp was plugged into uh, just the Apollo Twin for conversion. And uh, yeah. All right. So, shall we take a look at Clint's setup? Yeah. All right. What's up, guys? Clint and we're gonna look at my stuff uh, for for my parts I use my 1988 Gibson Les Paul custom this is my main guitar for pretty much everything that I do and uh, I've got EMG pickups in it got an 81 in the bridge and an 85 in the neck only use the 81 um, so yeah it was, it was just this guitar going into my very simple very modest pedal board. Uh, went into the, you know, Boss tuner. Um, and then used a Boss SD1 Waza Craft uh, to boost the amp. And I just gave uh, the amp the amp just a slight little boost, uh, which brings us to the amp. It was a 1981 Marshall JCM 800 2204, which is the single channel 50 watt. Um, this one has 6550s in it. I originally was tracking it with my 1979 Marshall JMP 2203, and I actually blew it up uh, while we were tracking. So, first time I've ever blown an amp up, and it was pretty cool that it was on an Aussie song. So, that's pretty cool. And then, uh, anyways, you know, this head um, into the 412 down the hallway, which we'll show in a minute. Uh, also, Tate and I both used our Yamaha SPX90. Um, this is an original 80s uh, outboard effects processor, really popular in the 80s, uh, especially for things like guitar, bass, vocals, drums, uh, has everything, delay, reverb, modulation. Uh, the most famous uh, sound that that was that this unit was known for was uh, the number 15 patch which is the symphonic patch it's, it's pretty much a like a mega chorus it's like a chorus on steroids 
and uh, you kind of got to be careful with it because it it gets kind of flangy and really it's it's really strong but we just used a a very small amount of it on all of the guitars and the bass just to give it a subtle uh you know thickening effect make it a little more 3d Um, this is the same unit that zach wilde used on no rest for the wicked and no more tears this was on all of his guitars Um, pretty much all those guys back then had these warren Martini. Um, all of them. So, anyways, uh, yeah, let's go. Uh, let's go look at the cabs. Right. Follow me. So we'll start off with my cab. Just have uh, my old '80s Marshall 412 sitting here in my bedroom. It's got the original. Celestian G12 T75s and uh, we just threw two mics on two different speakers got a sure SM57 down here on a on one of the bottom speakers and then a Sennheiser 421 up here on one of the top speakers and we just blended them and uh, with this cab and with Tate's cab we when we recorded these we had both cabs covered up with uh, mattresses and really uh really thick like you know padded uh comforters and moving blankets and and uh things like that to get the job done dampen it and deaden the yeah. sound so uh it really wasn't that loud um if you went outside i mean you could hear it a little bit but it wasn't that bad so anyways go over here to tate's cab let him tell you guys about it so I used a 90s Mesa Rectifier 412 cab, same mic combination. Uh, it has 90s uh, English made Celestian Vintage 30s in it. Uh, cab sounds great. Uh, it's definitely well broken in. And uh, yeah, that's what I used. That's what I ran the Black Star through for this particular recording. Same mic combination. Yep. Yeah, we've got 57 down here. Good old 421. I know it may be a little hard to see, but there they are. So, yeah, guys. Yeah. So, anyways, thanks to everybody that's checking out the song. We've got more stuff coming out, probably looking at February, February. to, uh, you know, get, get some new stuff out. we got some originals lined up and, a, and another, another cover. So, anyways, uh, yeah, we'll... Uh, We'll all get in here and just just want to say thanks. Yeah, thank you guys and, uh, for checking out Shot in the Dark. We hope you all enjoy it. Yeah. If you haven't checked it out yet, please go uh, give it a spin on Apple Music and Spotify and other streaming services, and we'll see you guys soon. All right, see you.